under normal conditions gases do not discharge through them that is electric current do not pass through gases under normal conditions but uh, when the pressure is very less and uh, when the applied potential is very large then gases conduct electric current so the discharge of gases uh, can be observed using a, a glass tube which we call as discharge tube such a discharge tube is shown in the figure here uh, it consists of a long tube of about uh, 40 centimeters in length and uh, about uh, 4 centimeters in diameter and uh, two electrodes are placed inside the glass tube one cathode and another is anode uh, the cathode is connected to the negative terminal and uh, the anode is connected to the positive terminal of external power supply and uh, we are uh, using a vacuum pump uh, we using which we can change the pressure inside the glass tube the pressure can be adjusted according to our requirement. Now, it is observed that when the applied uh, potential is very large, say 15,000 to 20,000 volts, and when the pressure is very less, about uh, 0 0.01 millimeters of mercury, then uh, a dark space fills the entire uh, this thing tube, and uh, that is what co we call a Krug's dark space. Uh, the pressure should be about uh, 0.01 mm of mercury and uh, the applied potential should be about 15,000 to 20,000 volts. In such case, the entire tube is filled with a dark space which we call Krug's dark space and uh, uh, it is also observed that uh, there is a fluorescent glow behind uh, the wall of the anode and uh, this glow indicates that uh, there is a stream of uh, rays which are uh, moving from cathode and uh, reaching the anode. These rays are called uh, cathode rays. These rays are called cathode rays because they are emerging from cathode uh, and uh, later they are named as uh, electrons. These cathode rays have certain properties like uh, they travel in straight lines and they have certain momentum and energy. Uh, they can be deflected by electric and magnetic fields and the direction of their uh, deflection indicates that they are negatively charged particles. Later they are named as electrons and uh, it is also observed that the charge to mass ratio of these particles remains constant irrespective of the gas inside the tube. In this way, we can uh, study uh, the discharge of gases and uh, this particular experiment led to the invention of electron.